Hey guys, I'm Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I will review this portable car screen from Carporite. This is a great solution for people who do not have the CarPlay function in their car system and they don't want to replace the original screen with an aftermarket one. Now let's first look at the specifications before I take this out to my car and test its performance. It's got a 9-inch HD IPS touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, along with the mobile screen mirroring function, which is great. There are three ways you can get the audio output, and we will test that later on in the video. It has a TF slot for SD memory card, as well as a USB-A slot for a flash drive. It enables functions like GPS navigation, voice control, video in motion while driving, which I love. It needs the simplest of the installation. And the best part about this Carpurite portable car screen is that it's suitable for all cars, as long as there is a cigarette lighter adapter for power. Now let's open this box to check out the contents. All right, friends, so this is all you get inside the box. Uh, first you get to this adjustable dashboard mounting bracket Now this is adjustable and you can change The direction that suits you uh, you've got a 3m double-sided strong tape for the base and Then you also have uh, this adjustable mount that attaches with the windscreen uh, With a 3 inch suction cup and you also get a suction cup Gasket with it so you attach it on the dashboard and then this sticks on top of it. All right, so then you get this standard uh, cigarette lighter to power the screen. You also get this 3.5 mm jack uh, aux audio cable. A rear view camera with a full installation kit. And this camera is actually a night vision camera. So that's quite nice. You get uh, the cables to connect the camera with the screen also. And then finally, you have this nine inch full HD IPS touchscreen from Carpurite. Now I'll tell you one thing uh, about this screen is that uh, in the market, you'll find a lot of these portable car screens and most of them are actually seven inch. You will not find a lot of these screens which are more than seven inch. So this is a nine inch screen, which is quite good. Um, it looks nice, it's not very heavy. Um, now looking at the back, so you've got uh, the built-in speakers here. Um, these are the sockets for the brackets. On top, you've got this button. This is the power button. So if you long press, it switches on or off. And if you just short press, it uh, mutes the sound. Okay, so on this side you have all the connections. This first one is for an external mic. Then you've got a TF card slot. Uh, then you have this slot for the camera here. This is for the aux cable. This is a USB-A flash drive slot. And then finally a slot for the power cigarette lighter. So that's it, it's quite simple. Uh, looks quite nice. Um, so let's take this out, connect it uh, in my car, and then we will test the performance of this 9-inch Carpurite portable car screen. So keep watching, guys. All right, guys, so the screen is ready. I will connect this with the power. Now, I've put this on the dashboard of my car, but you can always put this on the windshield. So with this uh, screen, you get two uh, brackets, one for the dashboard, the other one for the windscreen. It usually just takes about seven seconds seven to ten seconds to switch it on which is quite good because i've tested some other devices uh, which takes a bit longer so this is the main home page of this device uh, you've got 10 uh, icons appearing on the screen these are standard set 10 icons you can't add or delete anything now let me take you through uh, the other options on the screen so on top left you've got a home button so then you have the volume button you've got the time you've got bluetooth you've got the brightness of the screen if you can also change the wallpapers uh, using this option here and finally you have the help button now looking at this 10 different options available on the screen the first one is the wireless apple carplay then you've got the wireless android auto 
Then you have the AirPlay option that's for iPhone. And then the auto link icon is for the mobile screen mirroring on Android mobiles. Uh, you also have Bluetooth options. You can connect your mobile for music or for making calls. Uh, then you've got USB and TF card. Now these two options uh, we will be testing later on in the video. I've got a USB attached as well as uh, inserted uh, SD memory card. And then you've got FM transmission. Now this device uh, comes in with very powerful built-in speakers. But if you don't like that, you can always connect uh, the transmitter with the system of your car. And you just need to simply match the FM transmission frequency on your car and the device. And then all the audio will then be relayed to the system of your car and the sound system of your car. Now what I will do in this video in order to test the performance of this portable card screen is start testing most of these functions one by one. So let's start uh, with the Apple CarPlay first. So now what we need to do is go to the Bluetooth settings on the iPhone. We will see a new device as W701 appearing and the same device is appearing on the screen. Just click on that. Uh, then we will get an option of Bluetooth pairing. We say yes, allow favorites and contacts to be synced. Uh, and then finally, we get another message saying use CarPlay. We say yes. And then in a few seconds, we should be able to see the homepage of Apple CarPlay on the screen. There you go. So this is the main homepage of uh, Apple CarPlay. It would have all the different applications that are compatible with Apple CarPlay appearing on the screen. Uh, let's start testing a few of these. Uh, let's start with Siri. Hey Siri, call Ibster. Hey Siri, take me to Dubai Mall. All right, so you know everything seems to be working fine within Apple CarPlay. We've tested phone call, music, navigation, Siri. Everything seems to be perfect. Now let's move on and test the wireless Android Auto. So now in order to connect uh, Android Auto, we just need to follow the exact same steps. So on my Samsung mobile, I just need to go and open Bluetooth settings. And under that, I will see a new device as W701. I click on that and then pair it. And then in a few seconds, I should be able to see the Android Auto homepage on the screen. There you go. So this is the standard uh, homepage of Android Auto. Now again, all the applications that are compatible with Android Auto would appear on the screen. Now I don't have my mobile connected with internet, so I can't test the maps or any other application. So let's go back to uh, the home screen. Just click on this exit button and we'll back on the home screen. All right, so now I will test the mobile screen mirroring option. I will do it only on my iPhone, but you know, the same uh, process needs to be followed for Android mobiles as well. So let's click on AirPlay. Now what I need to do is on my iPhone, I just need to go to Wi-Fi and select this Wi-Fi called W701 and then input the password. And once I've done that, then from the top right, just drop down and click on this mobile screen mirroring option and then click on the device. And then in about four or five seconds, uh, I should be able to see the mobile screen mirror just like that. So let's play something on YouTube. So let's put this on full screen. And as you can see, uh, you know, it is uh, mirrored perfectly without any lag. And uh, I, I can tell you the quality is amazing. You know, the, the, the resolution of the screen, the brightness and the colors are just too good. Now, as I said before, this also has uh, the option of Bluetooth. So you can connect your mobile with the Bluetooth and then use either the calling option or you can play music through your mobile using the Bluetooth. And then let's test the USB function. I've connected a USB flash drive. Uh, let's play a video file. I've got a very heavy 4K video file. And, and as you can see on the screen now, this is coming out to be a full screen video. Look at the quality, it's excellent. It's crystal clear. Now, let me try to play the same video through this SD memory card. So I've got the same video on both flash drive and the SD memory card. And as you can see, it's coming out to be exactly the same in terms of the quality and the clarity and the brightness, and it is full screen. So we can easily play a heavy video file either through the USB flash drive or the SD memory card. All right, guys, so this was a very quick review of this portable car screen from Carpuride.
Uh, we've tested different functions and features and everything performed really, really well. I will continue testing this device in the coming days. And uh, if I encounter any issues, I will mention that in the description of this video. So overall, I'm very impressed with this screen. You know, this is highly recommended, especially for people who have a screen in their car, but doesn't have CarPlay. So they can install this uh, very nice screen. And also for people who do not have any sort of screen in their car. You know, this is such a nice portable screen, which has all the amazing features. So if you're interested to buy this device, just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the maker's website where you can buy this very nice 9-inch portable car screen from Carporite.